everyone, welcome to the podcast. I'm here with my best friend Emily, and Hello. she's going to complain about all of her life situations that she has because she likes to complain. Thank you, Kai. So my name is Emily. Um, you may know me in Kai's role play. I played As Emma. Emma. Mm-hmm. So yeah, if you may know me from that. And I'm going to complain about um, something that happened to me in first grade. So in first grade, I was really excited to go to my friend's birthday party. And I was telling my mom a joke as I went to the dining room to get myself a glass of water. Do you want a drink? No, thank you. Okay. Do you want some water? Um, and as I was talking, I saw a ball in front of me, one of those big exercise balls. Hold it. I'm going to go um, get water. You can keep talking. This is the first time she's done a podcast, people, so don't cancel her. Yeah. Or so, <laughs> Um, I saw the big exercise ball in front of me, and I was expecting to kick it, but I tripped over it and fell on my left elbow. Um, I was crying in pain, and my mom, I sat in a chair, and my mom went to get me an ice pack. I remember my brother, Edward, was there too, and I don't think he really knew what was going on at the time, because he was so young. And I just remember, we went to my doctor, and all he said was to take me to the ER. So we went there, and I was seeing my friend's party, which I was really excited for. And we went to the ER, and I remember we did, you know those finger cuff things for your, I think your blood pressure? Yeah. Yeah, all they did was one of those, and then they gave me an ice pack, and I was sent to the waiting room. I remember I had come home from school when I broke my arm, and it wasn't long after that. And I remember by the time we were able to leave, it was like dark out. So we were waiting there for hours, and all they gave me was an ice pack that went warm pretty fast. And the ER was crowded. And I'm pretty sure it's changed nowadays with COVID. Maybe for the worse or the better, I'm not sure. But, I mean, if you have an allergy to something and you need to go to the ER and you're just waiting there, I mean, it could be a problem for you. If you could die... I mean, it's possible they might be able to get you into a room, but hospitals are really crowded nowadays. So it'd probably be really hard to, with everyone taking up the space with COVID. So the story here, guys, is get vaccinated. I got my shot yesterday. I turned 12 yesterday, so I was able to get my shot. So my arm is really sore right now. I got it in my left arm because I'm right-handed, so I knew I'd be able to do more stuff if I got it in my left arm. Um, so it's feeling better because I've been taking tons of Tylenol, but it still really hurts. But get vaccinated, guys. Stay safe, wear masks. Because there are some people who aren't as lucky to have the opportunity to be able to see a doctor right away if they are in a deadly situation. So get vaccinated so that the doctors can see the people who need their help the most. And yeah, um, but I'm like, yeah, I said something. Yeah. Uh, I just also wanted to add, I know that my situation wasn't really a deadly situation, but it should, this should still be used as a reminder for us to take advantage of the medical things that we have that others don't and to stay safe, wear masks in indoor areas and social distance and everything. So feet away, I know we're not social distancing, but we're wearing masks and I'm partially vaccinated, you're fully vaccinated, so we're good. So yeah, um, so allow me to take over for a second. So guys, um, we are almost at 70 subscribers. We were at 70 subscribers, but then I stopped posting, so I think people unsubscribed, which is totally fine. Um, where did I put a water bottle? Is that mine? Yeah. Um, but what was I gonna say? Oh yeah. Um, also, this something that I've been wanting to talk about is I don't get why people think that 
just because, wait, what was I going to say? Okay, I keep forgetting what I was going to say. Um, but yeah, also guys, Roblox is still down. I'm like filming the second episode, like half an hour after I filmed the first episode of the podcast. I'm like, kind of just... Yeah, but I don't know how much I'm going to edit these. The last one I did not edit at all. This one, I might edit a tiny bit, but yeah. But like, it, it's different now. Like, the camera, did, I just bumped the microphone. The camera's in a different place. Oh, we should do a book segment. What? Where we read a book? No, oh, where we talk about books. Okay, let's talk about Keeper of the Lost City. Segment. Oh, dog segment. Let's see! Missy, okay, my dog is like over there and she's like dying on the floor. She's my very dog, tired. Very I'm not dying. Oh my God. She's very upset. Lexi, you're fine. Um, I'm not fine. Who win? Yeah. My Roblox account is down. Oh my God. Yes, all of our Roblox accounts are down. You will suffer with me then. Who um, also, guys, I know there are some people who are very stressed about Roblox. And oh, this is what I was going to say earlier. It bugs me how people think that Roblox. Like the employees at Roblox are robots. They, there are actual people who are actively trying to fix this. This is not their fault. I know their servers are kind of like potatoes. They have really bad servers, but Potato. still, they are actively doing their the engineering necessary to ensure that we have something to do in this crazy health crisis. I think it's really important to remember that because. Some people haven't been the nice and they're, and they're like, what am I supposed to do now? And it's like, okay, well, it's not their fault. They're actively trying to fix it. Um, and I think they feel bad. And also, don't spread rumors. There was a rumor, um, if you didn't know, Chipotle and Roblox had partnered. And they made this thing called the Burrito Maze. And if you did the maze, you would get a free burrito in real life. The maze was on Roblox, so you do the maze and then you got a free burrito and some people have, are blaming the burrito maze but the thing is the burrito maze has only been open for a short amount of time and not many people had done it when we locked shut down so it was not the burrito maze's fault so please don't go around making false assumptions and false accusations i think chipotle was like it's not their fault. It's not Roblox's fault. It's not everyone's fault. Technology is mean all the time. Just now, I was like trying to figure out how to set up this microphone, and it was like kind of. I wasn't completely sure how to do it. So technology isn't the nicest, people. Okay, you can talk now. I don't know what to say. Jesus, why do you shrink down? Anyway, um, oh, I'm tired, so I sat down. Um, time for I'm Eddie. Why are you laughing? Okay, um. <laughs> Now it is time for our book segment and then our interview segment in which we will be interviewing Lexi. Oh god, no, not her. Yes, Lexi is my dog, she's annoying, and somebody here made a voice for her. Excuse me, don't accuse me of anything. Ahem. So today we will be talking about the Keeper's Lost Cities series. Woohoo! Keeper's the Lost Cities is a great series, people. Go read it. Um... So if Kai will kindly edit um, above the cover of the first book, please, right next to me. Uh, thank you very much. So Keeper of the Lost Cities is about this girl named Sophie who's a telepath and is living with humans. And telepathic means that you can read people's minds. And she meets Fitz who shows her this whole new world where she belongs. How else do I summarize the first book? Yeah, okay. Um, I like, I'm not gonna give spoilers. You just go read the book, okay? Also, guys, did you know Apple um, is releasing the new laptops, which I'm kind of mad about because I just bought this laptop and they're like, we're gonna release a new one. But I want to talk about something, which is, it's kind of like a dirty business practice, which is Apple is making you, they're removing the headphone jacks and they're changing all the plugs. It just makes me really mad. Okay, guys, that's making me very mad. So, okay, my laptop. Um, I actually have my old laptop. My old MacBook, which is 
right here had all these like holes in it. It even has like a CD drive on the other one. My new laptop only has Thunderbolt, which makes me really mad. Um, and then like they removed the headphone port from the iPhone, so you had to buy their new AirPods. So like, don't do that, Apple. No, yeah, that's it. I don't know. Just I needed to rant. Also, I don't think I'm supposed to be sitting on this. Kids, don't take life lessons from me. They're not good life lessons. Well, yeah, you probably and, shouldn't be taking any from him, especially right now when he's doing that, in which he could get hurt. If you get hurt, I'm going to say what happened. And then I'm going to say that it's partially your own fault for doing this. Excuse me, I am not crazy. You see what I deal with here? Okay, um, anyway. Let's so, talk about dogs. Yes, did you know dogs are both beneficial to your mental and physical health? Studies have proven that you can live longer if you have a dog in your life. So if you want to live longer, get a dog. Also, there's something I want to talk about with dogs is, do, if any other fellow dog owners, do your dogs do this? Whenever I'm going upstairs, okay, so my dog, I'm my dog's favorite in this house because I give her most of the treats. But... Whenever I go upstairs and she's following me, I feel like dogs are physically, okay, I need to get close to the microphone. I feel like dogs are physically incapable of going up the stairs any faster or slower than they do. They, they have one speed that they go at and it's just like they zoom up and you trip. She's tripped me so many times. I mean, it could change as they get older. I know, does your dog do that though? Uh, she yes. races upstairs. It's very annoying. Yeah, so um, I know what um, other people are going to say, but all pets can help with your mental health. So um, getting a pet is really good for you. Beneficial. And I also read that children who grew up with dogs develop less allergies. And did you know that when petting a dog, your it lowers your pulse? I honestly had no idea. Um, I'm not good at facts, people. Don't come for me. But um, yeah, is that the end of the podcast? And our dog breed highlight of the day is a golden doodle. Lexi, come! No way, human. Okay, she doesn't know how to get past the tripod, so she's not going to come. But Lexi's my dog. She's a golden doodle. Um, but she does not know how to come past the tripod she's because watching us. there's a tripod with our camera. So, we'll just yeah. show a picture of her on screen. Yeah, I'll pop a picture of her. Um, but, yeah. Um, yeah. Um, but anyway, bye guys. Um, I feel like. Do we have an outro or an intro? Oh, wait. <gasps> oh, Lexi! Hi, Humans! I decided to make guest appearance. Oh my god. Oh. This is my puppy. Hi, Lexi. Oh my gosh. Hi, Boot Humans. Oh my god. Okay, yeah, here. You can to be on my lap. Oh, oh, oh. Humans, subscribe <laughs> and like the video for more clips of me. Oh, yeah. Okay, so everyone subscribe and like if you want more of Lexi. Yeah, you so just sweetie, Missy. Subscribe if you want to see me. Okay, yeah, Lexi. Subscribe if you want to see You're really bad at YouTube. Just like, oh my gosh, I'm be not. Quiet. I watch my own anyway, life. bye guys. Have a great day. And yeah, anyway, that's going to be it for today's video. If you enjoyed, don't forget to leave a big thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel down below. After you subscribe, ring the bell button so you get notified whenever I post a video. I do try to post frequently. Anyway, that's going to be it for today's video. Leave a like and subscribe for more. And I'll see you all later with another one. Bye. See you in bye. a few minutes. Yeah. Um, take care. Take care. Is that Latin for